Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. In this video, we will talk about URL navigation. How exactly you can navigate in ServiceNow to a record or a module using a URL. In order to learn URL navigation, you need to know the basic schema of ServiceNow URL. So as you can see on the screen that we have HTTPS colon uh, slash slash and then we have base URL. Now base URL is the instance of your name. For example, any X organization you are uh, bel you belong to, that means X dot then ServiceNow domain, that is service hyphen now dot com. That will become the base URL of your instance. Then you have slash and then you have nav underscore two dot do question mark and then you have URI equal to then you have to mention the name of the page what page you want to access that's what you have to mention over here and then dot do and then you have question mark sys ID equal to if you want to open a particular record then you can click then you can just mention the sys ID and then you have page parameters so after putting end then you can put the page parameters now page parameters are something like a conditions or like query which you want to mention to 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 navigate that particular record or maybe if you want to see a list and if you want to mention some query you can do that let's take a look this is my personal developer instance now if you talk about the base URL I type here for example I have this one So the dev55285, this is my uh, developer instance name, dot service hyphen now dot com. Now this is the base URL. If I enter this, I will get the home page of service now. However, if I want to access some record, so let's take a look how exactly we can do that. If I go here again, now you can see it automatically adds the nav underscore two dot do, then URI and it says home dot do. That is the name of the page which we were talking about it earlier. Now this is the exact URL. Now what I want what what if, if I want to access incident? So if I will do incident dot do let's see what happens so it will open the new incident form so I just changed the name of the page now the page which I was talking about it's a table name so I just mentioned incident dot do so that it can open the new form of incident you can also change this, you can make it to change or any other table you have in ServiceNow. You can just mention that table and when you mention dot do and press enter, you will see the form of that particular table. So here it's a new record. So whenever you will do that, it is not cre uh, opening an existing uh, record. It is just opening the new form. Now, what if if you want to open uh, the exact record you have in your system? So before that, I have to uh, see. So let me copy the sys ID of this particular record. This is already created. This is in your system. See, so if I go to URL, So I will just nav dot do question mark URI equal to incident dot do question mark sys underscore ID equal to 
Now, this is the society which we copied from the incident record, that is 9009 record. So I have just mentioned the society because now I want to open this record. If I press enter, it will directly open that particular record. So you can see. Now, again, if I go here, and URI, I mention incident dot do question mark society is equal to minus one. So it will open a new record. If I press enter, let's see what happens. Yep, it is giving me the opportunity to create a new incident. Ideally, if you will just mention the table dot do even put without putting the society, you can still get this form. But this is like another way of creating a new record directly from the URL. Now, if you want to access list of incident records, for that, if you will do URI incident underscore list dot do it's another page and if I press enter you will see all the incidents so it is showing you all the incidents we have in our system this is how you see the list now let's take a look for parameters and I will show you how exactly it, it shows you the parameters. So for example, if I click here, open. And if I go at the top, you will definitely see the parameter. So what it says, sysperm query, and it is querying the active records, active true. That's what it is doing. And if you will see here, it is also putting up the filter right here, active true. So this is how you navigate. So sys, uh, like page parameters are really important. If you want to put some query, filter out some results with the help of URL navigation, then you definitely need those page parameters so that you can put those values all the field values and then you can filter out the results so in order to separate the page parameters you have end value or if you want to have like multiple queries for example active is true or maybe you want to have some uh, caller is that society david miller then you have to use caret and i can show you that as well for example if i right click here show matching and if I go at the top, see the new URL, it would be different. And if I check here, see, it says scholar ID. Now the caret, I, character I was talking about, it is this character, which is just and you, on your keyboard, it's on the six. So when you press shift and six on your keyboard, you will get this uh, character. So that is how you get the results. So if you want to put multiple queries, then you can put this caret character and then you can put multiple qu queries as part of the filters and fields you wanna put as, as part of your query. This is how you navigate by URL in ServiceNow. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.